Hi, my name is Seth Castile with Underwater Dogs. I've volunteered at animal shelters all over the country, and there are millions of pets looking for forever homes, and they need our help. One of the best ways we can help them is to take a better adoption picture. One picture saves a life. One picture definitely saves a life. I'm John Paul DeGioria, the JP and John Paul pet, and I'm here to introduce you to a groomer who's going to show you how to save a life. By the time you're done, you'll find out how to be an incredible groomer, to give this pet that opportunity because you gave them that opportunity to look their best so they could have a home too. So. Let me introduce you to Donna, who's a groomer who will take it from here. Donna? Hi, this is Donna Owens at John Paul Pet Salon here in Laguna Niguel, California. And I'm here with Seth Castile and his pet Nala. And we're going to show you some great ways to use John Paul Pet products to clean up a pet because... One picture saves a life. You ready, Seth? I'm ready. Okay. You want to put, an, there you go, an arm here. under her waist, right? Okay. And then lift her gently. Here we go, boo-boo, look. Go. There yes, you go, you're on a girl. table. And just remember when you're handling a rescue dog, mm -hmm. you never want to like pick them up from here or grab them from here. Their okay. natural reflex is to be defensive. So when you do want to lift, especially a rescue dog, you want to put your arm around their front of their chest and around their waist and hold them securely and close to you so they feel safe and secure. So when we groom the pets professionally, we usually put a lead around the neck. And the reason that is, is most dogs are conditioned to um, understand that a lead loosely around their neck mm -hmm. means that someone is in control of their destiny mm -hmm. or someone is the pack leader. And in this case, it would be me. <laughs> it is you. She's very a little good. furry right now, isn't she? She is very furry. <laughs> <laughs> Oftentimes when a uh, rescue pet comes in, they're gonna be a lot more furrier than this. Yeah. Typically when a rescue pet has tangles all over them, mm -hmm. they end up having to be shaved. Okay. But with a little work and the fantastic detangler, because it works great, we can save the coat and leave them fluffy. If the pet is fluffy, then they're more inclined to get adopted because they look cute and so forth. Yeah. So that's what's important, is that we get these guys adopted. So we're gonna try and make them look as cute as possible. Awesome. Yeah, I think for a picture, if I'm photographing a dog that has all kinds of tangles, it doesn't really look that appealing. Right. Um, if we have the nice, fluffy, tangle-free dog, certainly I think that's more inviting. I think people want to come say hello. Right. Let's get you tangle-free. Right. Okay. You got a tangle in your hair. Yeah, and I, I heard that um, when you, we, you know, when we groom the pets, mm -hmm. that it raises the adoption rate from something like 70% to 90%. Awesome. This idea is one picture can save a life, but if we're taking a great picture of a dog that's not looking their best, right? it's really not, it's not serving its purpose. So, yes. you know, when we groom the dogs and they look their best and then we take a great picture, the chances are fantastic that we're going to, we're going to find that dog a forever loving home. Yes. Cause we're going to make you irresistible. Yeah.